Hey guys, it's T. A couple of weeks ago, my partner and I took a five day trip to New York City. Here's how our trip went. We made it to the big city on Tuesday and checked into our hotel, Citizen M. The layout of the room was simple, but was just enough for our needs for the trip. Everything was controlled with the room's iPad, including the blinds, lights, and even the temperature. I like the room, but I would not suggest this for anyone who isn't fully comfortable with their traveling partner, as the space is very compact and you can definitely hear everything going on in the bathroom. The room came with a slightly creepy doll that we quickly put away in the drawers, along with our backpacks and bags as to keep the room neat, being so small. The first night. Afterwards, we set off to our first destination for dinner. Just several blocks away, we reached Ichiran Ramen, a tonkatsu ramen chain that originated in Japan and has made its way to New York. They have intimate focus booths that allow you to privately dine and enjoy your meal or open up like we did for a shared experience with your dining partner. It was delicious and such a comforting way to start our trip. We walked through Times Square and got to experience the hustle and bustle of the heart of the city. Where we made it to the Minskoff Theater where we had tickets to see Lion King on Broadway. A thousand steps around the city. We started our first full day with breakfast at Ground Central Coffee in Hell's Kitchen. We loved the moody atmosphere and the murals that covered every wall. It would have been a lovely place to spend a few hours, but we had to get to the subway station to get our metro cards for the week. We took the train down to the Brooklyn Bridge first thing in the morning, coffee in hand. Since it was so early in the day, there weren't quite as many people on the bridge. That allowed us to really enjoy the view and take a couple of photos that seemed like no one else was there but us. After, we started our walk through the financial district, where I realized I underestimated the cold weather that New York had to offer us in mid-March, and bought some cheap earmuffs as both a souvenir and a means to keep my ears from falling off. We walked to Chinatown for a taste of Wa Feng No. 1, which was highly raved about from anyone we spoke to about food in New York City. We enjoyed our warm meal in the park and took a short break before going into our second lunch spot of the day, North Dumpling. Both were incredibly cheap, delicious, and cash only. So bring some bills if you're going to stop by.
We passed by the Essex market briefly, and although it had many other options to eat, we decided to get some pizza at a nearby Champion Pizza instead. We walked a mile up towards East Village to visit some local vintage shops before heading back down to the financial district to see the Oculus and the National 9-11 Memorial. By this time, our feet were sore and our stomachs were growling again. So we ended the day at Olio e Piu, a lovely Italian restaurant in Greenwich that is embodied with flowers and greenery. It was the perfect way to end the first day. Shopping, student discounts, and sushi. We stopped by Pick a Bagel for breakfast. It was busted, but that meant our bagels were hot and fresh, so I couldn't really complain about that. We stopped by the Rockefeller Center on our way to the shops in Midtown, where we spent a little too much money. We tried to make up for this by using our student IDs for a discount for our MoMA tickets. We spent hours there, appreciating the different varieties of art. Tell me if you guys can see the difference in this glass view. I hate to admit how long I was staring through it when I was there. a little under the weather in the morning, but it's nothing that some hot tea and dim sum couldn't fix. We decided to take things a bit easier today. We spent some time at bookshops and found the cutest souvenir for Stella. Spoiler, she hated it. We grabbed a coffee and headed to Bryant Park to enjoy the beautiful weather. There were a few hype beast shops in the area, so we popped on in. They were crowded and pretty overpriced, but it was fun to check out the storefronts and experience it in its entirety. Day. The 
The Chelsea Flea is only open on the weekends, so it was our first stop, after coffee, on this Saturday morning. Many locals came out to showcase their thrifted items, and we spent quite a few hours digging through the inventory. tickets for Arctech House, an immersive audiovisual exhibition. experience, but if I'm being completely honest, this was quite overstimulating for me. The wall-to-wall -wall flashing lights with the loud booming sound effects was overwhelming and almost nauseating for me. Each city has its own unique personality, and New York has this restless, hungry, creative energy. It will simultaneously wear you out and inspire you. I love the city, and I can't wait to return again. And I hope you get to experience it too. Thank you so much for joining me on this era.